Uh, Busola, just first and foremost, your views on the market. We're seeing the Naira uh, gaining ground and the market ending in positive terrain. Um, thank you very much. The market today gained 0.37%. Um, we saw volume and value going up by over 36 and 60% respectively. We saw on the volume side, um, Diamond Bank, First Indian Bank, Zenith Bank and First Bank gaining the chart today. So there was actually increased volume and value today in the market. All right, now we've seen uh, the market rally um, on the back of some of these uh, banking results coming through, but also with the promulgation of the Amcon bill. It is now law. We now know how this asset management company is going to work. Has it given any additional momentum to the market? Yes, it has. Um, if you look at the trend of the um, build-out banks, the likes of Bushonic Intercontinental, there's been increased activities um, in these banks uh, re lately since the release of the AMCO um, bill. Uh, so far, we've been seeing increased demand, and um, the prices of these stocks have been closing on 5% up today. So I would say it has actually increased confidence in, in these banks and the and this, um, capital market as a whole. All right, so obviously Amcon, which is designed to soak up some of the toxic and bad loans within the financial system, is going to boost banks going forward. But the results also have an impact on how banks are perceived. And there are some experts who are saying the results aren't particularly convincing and you need a lot more information and a lot more strategy going forward to show you what the banks are going to be doing, uh, consolidating going forward. Your views? Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, if you look at it so far from the results we've seen, um, turnover has actually dropped, but we've seen increase in profits after tax, which shows that a lot of um, the banks have been able to uh, cover the risk assets that they have in their books. A lot of it will be done. A lot of them are actually looking at how they're going to grow the turnover and profitability as a whole. So and we'll see this reflected in other results released. All right, so Bushola, this market rally we're seeing at the moment, is it sustainable? Well, it is, I would say yes. We'll, let's not forget for the outcome bill, um, a lot will still be released. We'll still need detail as to how it's going to work because it's not so clear yet. Once this is finalized, I feel uh, the market will close above the level at which is trading right now. All right, just uh, f anecdotally from your consultation with colleagues and industry uh, peers, what is the clarity that they're looking for? Because the governor of the central bank has been very clear about the fact that um, shareholders now have the power to decide on how to recapitalize banks. The agency will come in uh, to soak up toxic loans, initially looking at uh, putting into the market about 10 billion US dollars, but really and truly the bank taking, the central bank taking a step back and leaving it to the market's devices. So sorry, I didn't get that. Please. Bushola, I just want to know what it is that the market is unclear about because the central bank has provided quite a bit of detail about how the AMCON is going to work. What more are you looking for? Well, there's still some final detail that has to be provided. For example, the contribution that the banks and CBN would have to make to the sinking fund account, there's no clear detail as to how this is going to work. We still need final detail as to how it's going to work eventually. All right. Now that the balance sheets of the banks uh, looks to be cleared by the accession of the AMCON, how are investors looking at the nine rescued banks? Do they look more appetizing? Yes, they do. All right, to sum it up. Now, how much further, as I said to you, can the market rally? Because we've seen improvements in Nigeria, the uh, NSC trading upwards of 20% from what we saw when the market had crashed uh, 18 months ago. Um, what else is going to fuel good performance on the market? And is there just a general sense of confidence going forward? Um, a general sense of confidence going forward. We expect that the market will close above the 20,000 mark is trading at right now, even at the end of the year.